Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I think it's about time we go back to the Forest of Hope now that we have all three Pikmin colors. So let's go! Well, I already clicked the A button, so we're already going! During this, I mean, to this well-designed loading screen of sorts. <laughs> and you'll notice that there's a couple of Pikmin that I wasn't, I didn't have enough time to pluck from underground here. The last time I was here, no biggie. I'm going to plop all these back into the onion. And I'm going to get out all blues for what I plan on doing here. And go, 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 go! Uh, go! And yeah, maybe I should get these guys flowered while they're popping out of the onion here. Or at least get the flowers to work on the um, nectar. You'll notice that the... Um, the first ones that come out are flowered ones, so you'll always have the strongest team you possibly have. Um, that should work very nicely. And Okay, you guys... Start plucking this grass, see if I can get any more nectar out of that. Ooh, nice! I'd like to get my whole team flowered, if at all possible. Actually, I think I got them all. Got them all flowered. Oh, and I, I see a couple leaves in there, but that's fine. The reason why I want them flowered is because I want some real speed here. You want to go over to the right, and there is a wall to knock down in this water. Yeah, you can't go in here with regular Pikmin. Well, I mean red and yellows. Now that all the Pikmin are flowered, they should take down that wall rather quickly. Hopefully. <laughs> go, go, go! Knock down that wall! Or gate or whatever the heck they're called. I think they're actually called gates. But I always call them walls. I guess a gate and a wall are kind of the same thing. And 99? Where? Oh, it's stuck on one of those walls back there. <laughs> and this one is going to take a while. This gate right here. Um, while they do that, I can brief you on this enemy. This is the armored cannon beetle. What it does is it sucks in air and then it shoots a boulder straight out at wherever you are. Well, while it's sucking in air, you're supposed to throw a Pikmin into its snout, and it'll get stuck in it. It sounds like the Pikmin would die, but no, it actually doesn't do that. What happens is that it just gets stuck in there, and then you go around to the back, and it exposes its back. The whole the whole thing is armored otherwise, as per the name Armored Cannon Beetle, of course. And uh, it, it'll open up its exoskeleton, and then it'll expose its soft back. You throw a Pikmin onto it, and it's pretty much gone. <laughs> Especially when they're flowered, this will go really, really quick. But they still gotta knock down this wall, dang it. It's fast. It's fastest with flowered Pikmin like this, but still, it's gonna... This is a dark wall here. It'll take a while. Please, guys, you have to finish this. Otherwise, it will not work with my plans. <laughs> Alright. Come on. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to direct them there. Call them... Uh, 67 is too many. I only want, like, 40 or so. That's good. Not gonna nitpick about the numbers. Okay, now it's... I gotta get him to see me. But it's actually good that his back is turned. Oh, come on, stop turning away from me. <laughs> come on, see me? See me? There we go. Now throw, 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 just like that. I didn't even give it a chance to throw... Uh, to shoot a rock at me. Now throw it onto its back. It looks like it's smoking hot, but you don't need red Pikmin to do this. You can just throw blues on it and you should be fine. And, oh! Didn't make it in time, that's okay. And it also knocked down the flowers to buds. And that's what the attack looks like, by the way. Go, go, throw, 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 yes! It's not a very hard enemy, it just... It just takes a little while to kill. And, you know, this game is all about the time. <laughs> there we go! And this enemy is definitely worth taking back to the base because like the Pearly Clam Clam's Pearls, it will give you a whopping 50 Pikmin for taking it back to the base, so I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. But obviously the thing that I'm here for mainly is that ship part, which is the radiation canopy, I believe it's called. At last, my radiation canopy! This turns the harsh radiation of deep space into soft infrared rays that are easy on the body. I'll sleep like a baby once I get this back to the ship. It'll be like he's in the tropics or something like that. <laughs> Alright, you guys take that back. I'll get a couple more of you on there. Just to max it out at 50. Yeah, well, oh, max is at 48, really? I thought it would max at 50. Hmm. Right, let's see where, see where my team is right now. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
Don't wanna, don't wanna waste time here. Just wanna make sure I got everything with me. Okay. I believe that one at the gate that was stuck before will, um, will catch on to the cannon beetle. Should be like right here, based on the map. Oh, I didn't even see it, but yeah, that's where it got stuck. Now watch the Pikmin count go up. Yeah! And now, what I'm gonna do while I wait for that to go back to the base, I'm gonna get my team over here. Oh, wow, that was pretty quick. <laughs> Maybe I should actually grab my whole team before I go over to the water. Radiation canopy. I'll have to inspect it later to make sure it hasn't cracked. Well, if it did, why don't you just fill it in with dirt? It should work. <laughs> I'll be in for even more trouble if I, if I have any radiation leaks. I have now recovered 11 out of 30 parts. If I can just find one more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Yeah, I'm gonna go flop back over to base here and just grab them all. And I wonder, yeah, I should probably kill off these. Tack! Tack! <laughs> yeah, that one's fine, I can leave the other one, I think. Oh god, sheer grubs. Kill them off! Kill them off quickly before they hit the Pikmin! Oh, I got one. Alright, get them all. Actually, no, no, no. Don't do that bridge first. Go to this bridge. And. Oh, yeah. I'm facing the wrong direction, dang it. Got all confused in my panic. Alright, throw them all over here. Well, actually, maybe not all of them. Maybe I'll keep 30 for that bridge uh, back there. Maybe I'll take on the um, um, Bulborbs here. Oh, by the way, those little water enemies there, they're wog poles. They are a completely harmless enemy, so it's kind of hard to even call them enemies. And they really don't give you much reward, and they're pretty hard to kill. <laughs> so it's not really worth doing anything with them. And wow, this one's working on the bridge all by its little self. <laughs> Must have left that one behind or something. Okay, you, get on the bridge. And... I wonder if I should, like, start swapping some colors here. Because I'm going to need yellows a little bit later. Oh, but I'm going to need a larger team. Uh, I'm trying to think here. I'm, I'm strategizing. Uh, they're still working on that bridge. They're, they might get done at about the same time, actually. Who is going to be the victor? Will it be right or will it be left? Who knows? I put more on that because that bridge is longer than this one. Oh boy! Oh, 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 oh! Left side wins! And that means the left side has to help the right side. Come on, my slaves! Oh, we're done. Okay. <laughs> and, up, oh, some fell in the water. No biggie. This is the Sagittarius? Yes, it is. My son gave this to me as a present. It brings to mind memories of my son back home on planet Hakatate. Oh, to be back there right now. Get it! Get it now! We don't have time to dilly-dally. Wait, no! 19, seriously? Actually, I have to go around just for <sighs> just because only 19 went on that thing. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Fine, I'll take that back. <sighs> um, I wonder if I should bother killing you. I suppose I could. It's, it can't hurt. Mm, there we go. Just wanted to get him out of the way, just in case it gets in the way on my way back. I don't think you're going to be a problem, but you will on the way there, so I'm going to kill you. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot. I got to get yellows, so I got to go back to base. Mm, hurry, PK Gam. Switch your forces up. Actually, I should probably pluck this guy out of the ground, too, because I will not be back here after today. Because I'm planning on 100%ing this place today. And I'm just putting them all back to get 20 yellows. Maybe I should wait for them to get back to the base so I can get my whole team here. Well, other than the ones that are left in the water, but... Ah! <laughs> 
I can't believe 99, I mean 19, you know, around there, just, there was only one left. And why did I say 99? I have no idea. This was a gift from my son. He must be very worried about me. I have recovered 12 out of 30 parts, increasing Dolphin's capabilities. My search can now recover a wider area. And you have unlocked the fourth area of the game once you get to this point. Woo! Yeah! Alright team, all together. Except for the ones that are straggling in the water. <laughs> Actually, is there any... Oh, there's one still way back over there for whatever reason. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I'm just gonna go around here and... Just rush over to the last ship part because we have our first boss of the game coming up here, actually. It's going to be kind of interesting. D don't attack that. Eh, I find Attack this, though. Attack this. Head on. No, wait. No, dang it. Why did that fail? <laughs> attack that. Yeah, there we go. You're, you're definitely better off hitting them from the back. <laughs> There we go. Attack the dwarf! Good. Now separate the colors so that you have your yellows. This is why I got the yellows. This is much, much easier to do with yellows. And throw them. Oh, come on. Oh, shoot. I mean, maybe I'm gonna have to do this with blues. I thought I, had, I could do that with the yellows. Or, I mean, I thought I was supposed to do that with the yellows. All right, blues it is. <laughs> Guess that like, the yellows there was just a waste of time on my end. So don't get any yellows this part. <laughs> so yeah, they're gonna work on that. And I don't need all that many Pikmin to get across here. So I'm just gonna leave this team. So I'm, I mean, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna leave this team right here, and I'm gonna go right across. And cross this plane here. Go around the edges. Because you have burrowing snaggrets. Those are the bosses. But I'm only going to be battling one here. And that is the one with the ship parts. See where the star is? That's the one I'm aiming for. Not that one. Actually, no, wait. Just don't eat them. Or, wait, are you the one with the one? Oh, yeah, you are the one. Okay, what, why did you appear there? Anyway, throw it on its head. Throw it on its head. Throw it on its head. And it should eventually go on the ground. And wait for it to pop back up. Oh shoot, it didn't come out slow. You want it to come out very slowly from the ground so that you're able to throw a bunch on its head so it can't retaliate. You'll see what it, you'll see when it does it. There it oh dang it. Didn't do it correctly again. It's kinda luck based in that way, but you just gotta hope that it does the right thing and be aggressive on it because it's very fast, it's got a lot of HP, and yeah. There it is. That's what you want ha to happen. Because now it's not going to be able to do anything because it's being attacked like mad. <laughs> okay, do that one more time, please. Oh, dang it. This would not cooperate with me, will you? This day is clearly not my day. <sighs> ah, dang it. It's not reacting like I want it to. Ah, it's done. It's gonna die off like that, and then you get the ship part. It is the Geiger counter. Every spaceship needs one of these, but I don't actually know what it's for. Every once in a while, it goes wild and lets out a lot of noise, but I never pay much attention to it, so it doesn't do me much good. I really should meet, read that manual one of these days. Now, the reason why I want blues for this is because if there's blue on this ship part, they'll take it through the water, and it'll be a nice shortcut. See, like, the blues automatically, automatically go through the water, but if you don't have blues, they're gonna go through... This gauntlet <laughs> of death here, so that's why I was aiming for just the blues on that area. That saves a crap load of time. Alright, let's get all the team together because they will make the other parts of the team will make it back to the base safely. I don't care about the other snaggrets. Remember, this game is about time and not so much about killing everything. Um, let's see, you know what? Blues take this back. Just get as much much out of this day as I possibly can, I suppose. Oh, and by the way, I gotta clarify something about carrying. When there's uh, Pikmin of equal amounts on a, like, like when, they're, when they're carrying something, uh, they will choose the onion randomly based on whatever colors they're holding it. Like if there's 
um, two blue and two yellow carrying one of these dwarf bulb orbs. It'll choose between the blue and yellow onion to go to. Uh, completely randomly. And it made it! We made it! The area is now 100%ed! I wonder if I could save my whole team in time. I'm not sure about that. Because I know there's that one that's over by the bridge in that water area. This, is, this noisy 8 gauge is always letting off spontaneous clicks and buzzes. It can be kind of annoying. I've now recovered 13 out of the 30, 30 ship parts. And yeah, there's a lot more ship parts to go before we... Uh, can see the last area of the game and what I should do here I'm gonna leave my team there and it's getting really close to the end will I be able to save everyone in time uh, maybe because there's still that one over there I must play intelligently if I want to make it and wait are those getting anywhere or are they just stuck on something I think oh they're just sitting there dang it you stragglers Come with me. Back to base. Oh jeez. Will I be able to get that last one in time? Will I make it? I don't know. Oh shooty, shoot, shoot. These are Pikmin that I'm not gonna be able to pluck, am I? <laughs> well, I guess they will be there until the end of time. <laughs> Although maybe it would be handier to Oh shoot. Maybe it will be handier to pluck them, just to get my blues e even higher, if at all possible. Oh, oh not gonna make it. <laughs> well, that's okay, I guess I'll... It, it's a way to show you what it looks like when you don't get all the Pikmin back to the base in time. I suppose. I didn't realize how many blue I lost there. Not, they were just sprouting Pikmin off to the side there, which I wasn't really paying much attention to because of that uh, burrowing Snagret battle. Yeah, that didn't go as well as I'd hoped, but whatever, I got all the parts. Now there's the straggler that didn't make it. Uh, 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 uh. He's a goner. <laughs> Six days since impact. The Pikmin that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may well be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures and ugly thoughts. Perhaps that is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I'm starting to grasp the cycles of life on this planet. And that's the end of the day. Oh, yeah, that's... Well, actually, I did make a Pikmin Prophet. See, I lost that many today and sprouted 86. So, still a pretty good day, except that I left those blue ones on their ground. <laughs> But whatever, that's fine, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. And... Actually, you know what I probably should have done was pluck those ones that were in the ground, but... Because, you know, they would get added to my team and go into the onion for the next area. Too late, I'm saving. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna end off the part. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. No, I'm not going to the distant spring just yet. 